I'm on it snack 16. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the previous two a little bit. Remember we've been on like this sort of mode where we've been working on this shape. We're gonna talk about that a lot today, okay? So um, thinking this is the root, root A, this is gonna be A13. This is gonna be A13 with a nine on top. Now, take a look at these two notes, 13, nine. If we look at these notes, this is gonna be the fifth and the root. So basically, you have four different chords that you can play here just by rearranging these four notes, four different combinations you can do. So watch, 13 sharp, 13 with the nine on the top, 13 with the root on top, A7 with the nine on top, no 13. A7, which is the fifth and the root on top. Okay. Now, remember we can move this up here. Root would be here now, same A root. Now we got the sharp nine and the sharp five on the top. But we can combine these notes just the same way we did before. So look, this is gonna be a flat nine with the sharp five on top. Now we could go like this. This would be sharp nine. This would be flat five. If we go like this, this is flat nine, flat five. So these are all altered dominant shapes that you can mix and match as you like. All right, so um, let's try to put these to use. Remember last time we played uh, the one, six, two, five in a blues. So what if we use this shape? Not this one, this one. So this would be A13 with the root on the top. Here's the F sharp. So using the same shape, now we got F sharp seven, sharp nine, flat five. B13 with the root on top. E, sharp nine, flat five. Okay, so let's just try that real quick. We'll play along with my little jam here. Combine it with what we did last week. Remember last week went like this? So I'll play this one first. I'll play this one second time through. Let's alternate those. So what if we combine them a different way? Let's say we uh, play the 13 with the root on top, A13 with the root on the top. Then we play the F sharp with the sharp nine and the sharp five. 
For the B, we play it again with the root on the top. And then for the E7, we go back to the sharp five, sharp nine. Now, this sounds sort of more interesting to me because we have something different going on with the root, with the, with the notes on the top of the chord. The middle ones are staying the same. So we have a little bit of interesting, um, you know, voice movements going on here, so. So let's check that out. So next, um, what if we use, for instance, this shape, right? In this case, this would be a seven. Fifth root. For the F sharp. Ooh, now this is flat nine, flat five. Kind of a nice sound. B seven. Seven, flat nine, flat five. Let's try that. All right, so what if we um, go for this one? Right now we got the ninth on the top, no 13, and this voice will be now the fifth. Flat nine, sharp five. E nine. E seven, flat nine, sharp five. Let's try that one. So you can see there's different combinations you can use. Uh, now, um, going back to our blues, uh, remember, we're gonna play A7, D7, A maybe 13 or something. And then for the, the fourth bar, where that chord is gonna become a functioning dominant chord, we could play either this, 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 goes nice to, to D, goes. Uh, and then we're gonna have that one, six, two, five, so we could do any combination here. And then for the last uh, two bars, it's gonna be A, seven, and then the five chord, the E altered chord, so it could be. Any of these will be perfectly fine. Okay, so let's try that.
So I'm gonna suggest that you just spend a little time with these chords and uh, see what you can do with that 1625 in the in a blues, okay? And uh, if you need the tracks, if you wanna play along with these tracks, you can go download them. If you need the PDFs, they're there too. You gotta go to uh, Patreon and get them, okay? So anyways, um, this will really up your dominant game, all right? So uh, give it a shot, tell me what happens. <laughs> 